But further on, on the topic of Roadshow, I, I've always found it kind of interesting how genre inclusive uh, Roadshow is and how it creates like a really big party atmosphere. Uh, of course, uh, last run having In This Moment in Ginger and this like having Cypress Hill in Horror. Uh, you know, it's so much more than a heavy metal show. There's a lot more to it. Um, can you kind of talk to me about that genre inclusiveness and how, how it kind of breeds that whole, uh, you know, that spirit into what Roadshow is all about and what, what kind of vibes there are on stage and off? Well, I really like what you said. It's genre inclusiveness. That's a huge part of what the road show is all about. Um, inclusiveness of all uh, of all sorts. It's not just musical. It's it's you know cultural inclusiveness. You know that's like a, a thing that um, you know I, I think uh, from a lyrical standpoint, I think Corey really nailed it on the head with All Out Life and um, and the the overall message. I believe that. That we hope that people take away from you know coming to see a show on the not fest road show is that like this is a family this is a real community um that stretches you know way way further than beyond the community that's even just around you at that one show you know it's worldwide has many shapes and colors and sizes and everything you know we uh we really hope that our our music um you know, as intense and, and gnarly and loud and chaotic as it is, we hope that it it has some kind of message of inclusiveness that, um, you know, for me, before I joined the band, you know, Slipknot in particular, heavy metal in general, was where I really found like my tribe, you know, it's, what, it's where I came to, to feel like I could have some kind of connection in a world that I felt I didn't understand, I felt it didn't understand me, um, heavy metal was that for me and going to see bands was that community for me, you know? And so, so yeah, uh, with that said, um, you know, the Not Fest Roadshow is, is a really great opportunity for us to, you know, not only play ourselves, but, uh, but to bring like-minded artists who maybe you wouldn't get a chance to see, uh, on a traditional, you know, heavy metal kind of show bill or whatever. We're big fans, you know, as far as us in the band, we're big fans of playing um, festivals that are very inclusive of different genres. And it's, it's exciting for us because, you know, while it's awesome to, to play shows with our, you know, heavy metal brothers and sisters all around the world who will, you know, when we, for instance, when we go over to Europe, we'll probably play shows with like a handful of bands. We'll be seeing them like two or three times every week, you know, when we're, when we're out there. Um, because, you know, we, we, we kind of circle around a common sound and a common theme and there is commonality and community in that. But what I love, and I do love that, but what I really started to appreciate once we toured more and more in Europe and, uh, South America as well is the celebration of all things music. And so when we're playing a festival, I'll give you one example. We played a festival, <clears throat> excuse me, a couple of years now, a couple of years ago now in Peru, that was Interpol, one of my all-time favorite bands, Slipknot, and then The Strokes. Nice. One of the coolest nice. days of my life that we got to mix and mingle with, with artists that we don't typically get to play with. And, and that's a fantastic opportunity um, because at that point, then you're not just heavy metal fans or alternative music fans or whatever. You're just fans of music and creativity and art. And the fact that you know people who dig Interpol then stuck around to watch us then stuck around to watch the strokes super super cool so that's what we really get excited about when we you know when we start thinking about what we how we can bring a little bit of that into our world and um and yeah it, it's it's become really exciting like you said so the first leg of this tour uh we brought out um in this moment and wage war unfortunately ginger couldn't join us they're in the ukraine they're in ukraine right now um, and so they're in our thoughts and we hope, hopefully we'll be able to be on tour with them soon. And then on this leg, we're out with horror and Cypress Hill, uh, all phenomenal bands, all phenomenal artists. Last year we were out with Code Orange, Kill Switch, Engage. It was, it, you know, it was, it's really, really like, it's super exciting for us to, to be able to bring out, you know, other artists from, from different strands of, heavy music or heavy emotional music or, or stuff that we just feel is like this belongs to be on a stage where we're kind of pushing this culture and what we're all about. Um, so yeah, it's an awesome opportunity to, um, to introduce people to what we're into. 
And then when we're able to really break it open and do the Not Fest destination festivals, where we choose a city and, and we're gonna be like, okay, we're gonna completely invade. We're gonna bring, you know, a hundred of our friends to, uh, to play and we get to choose the food trucks. We get to really set up a giant Slipknot museum with all the sorts of artifacts from the band's history and whatnot. And we're able to really, you know, make it more than just what you're watching on stage. It's a completely interactive, we, we try to make it as interactive as possible. Um, so I think, you know, you have the big, big, big production of a NotFest destination festival. You have the compacted version of that that we can pack in a truck and take from city to city as we're doing right now. And then we're able to break it out into a digital landscape like you and I are doing here with everybody joining us in, in, the, in the Twitch stream, you know? Um, it's really, really cool to, to be able to um, just kind of share what we're about and, and feel like it resonates with, uh, with people out there. I, I think it does. And dude, I must say those destination festivals were insane. Uh, I, I was at LA and Iowa doing the live Twitch booth and uh, I can I can vouch uh, your the way you said it is exactly how it goes down. It was my first time seeing you know behind the scenes and how that works in the Notfest camp. And literally, Clown is walking the grounds before doors open, being like, "Hey, actually, I I thought the Ferris wheel was going to be there, and you know, let's let's move this in the museum." Like it is insanely hands on. This is truly an experience put together by the band for their family. And, uh, you know, that extends to exactly what we're doing right now. We are literally watching videos that you sorted through, cut together, sent to me. Like, we, we know we did we did for the chat. Let's pull back the veil a bit. There was sound checks. There was correspondences starting last week. Like, we really, I need to emphasize that, you know, Slipknot really does do this for their family. And it is insanely hands-on to make sure they bring you uh, the coolest and best product that they possibly can at all times, whether they're doing it for, you know, 50,000 people outdoors or for some friends in their living room watching on TV like we are right now. Uh, you know, they're always 100, 100 and 666% effort. <laughs> Love that. Love that. Yeah, man. You know, it's like we, you know, the people who are along the ride, along for the ride with us, uh, mean the world to us. And so they give us so much um in terms of just like that connection that we're all you know we're all seeking we do this to uh, you know we do this music to connect to ourselves you know selfishly but then once we put it out there then it's it's a real effort about making that human connection this is how i feel creatively about the world around me or the world around us the collective of slipknot and hopefully you guys share in that hopefully you can you know you can take something from that so the fact that you know, they give us so much in that connection. It's the least we can do to try to give back. And it, the, the chat is resonating every every uh, little bit of this right now. Flesh Consumer saying, when I went to the show in Edmonton, I felt an overwhelming sense of community seeing all the others who loved Slipknot exactly how I did. Uh, and that's what it's all about, family. 